Carmelita's Cuisine to you. Joining me is John Batiste. He and his wife Carmelita own the restaurant. Now, John, you've been open for five months. How is it going? Oh, it's going great. I'm um, loving it. Loving every minute of it. I'm actually uh, happy to you know, be serving the community with healthy, good food. Now, you've never owned a restaurant before. A leap of faith you took. What were you doing last year, John? Well, actually, I was actually working for a company. Uh, we were developing uh, strength and conditioning equipment for various entities like military bases, schools, and also uh, rec recreational gyms. So you probably ate very healthily, I would yeah. imagine, yeah, right? most of the time, yeah. And you're carrying that philosophy over into Carmelita's Cuisine because Absolutely. your food is all organic and all of your savory dishes are gluten-free. Yes, ma'am, they are. That's amazing, everyone, to have a restaurant where every savory dish is gluten-free. Congratulations on that commitment, you. sir. You're going to help a lot of families, yeah? yeah? That's what we're trying to do. Okay, now, you're in the space where DeCapo's Pastry Shop used mm -hmm. to be, so your pastries have their recipes, not gluten-free, Correct. right? But show us how to make this banana split cake. All right, so it's pretty simple once you get a hang of it. Mm -hmm. The first time might be a little scary for you, but you just peel out the banana. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to do four small little slices. Mm -hmm. So you just take your knife here mm -hmm. and place it on top. Okay. You don't have to make them too thick. Got it. Okay, what's next? And then we got our strawberries. Okay, just pile them on. Right Look here. at how nicely they're chopped. Did you chop those, John? Uh, I am not that skilled. <laughs> it's a beautiful chop. I have some job. wonderful ladies that actually take care of it for me. And then what's next? What are we looking at? We're going to do the caramel. Oh, okay. Yeah, Go ahead. The caramel. All right, I'll do this one. What flavor do I have? That is chocolate. Uh, yeah. And we can trade now. Okay. Can you do that? Ooh, how colorful this is. And then we put some pineapple. Some pineapples. Love it. And then these are some pecans. Pecans. Very nice. Do you say pecan or pecan? Uh, it just depends on what part of the city I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the finished dish. It looks delicious. Let's move over here and show the folks some of your savory dishes. What is this? Beautiful. Now, this is the loaded enchilada. Now, this one here is uh, one of our best sellers. It's actually new. Uh, so it's for somebody who's looking at pretty hungry, looking for maybe a meal after work. Mm -hmm. They get a lot of different toppings on it with the chili and the egg. Excellent. And then we have some curry dish with chicken here. Now, John, you're also introducing a Meals to Go program. Tell us about that. Well, the Meals to Go is important because a lot of people are busy. Uh, they're raising families, kids, are a lot of activities. So what we try to do is make it convenient for them. So we did a special called 10 for 10. So it's 10 meals for $10. They pack it away. Then they don't have to worry about the ingredients. That's awesome. And gluten-free gluten -free. and organic yes, ingredients. I love, love, love it. Jump up. Woo Congratulations, John. What a wonderful thing you're doing for the community here at Carmelita's Cuisine. Hey, everybody. This is Cleverly in the Heights for Fox 26 News. That looks like a great new